Quanto à formação que, que teve lugar uh, na Queen Elizabeth School no dia 3 e 4 de fevereiro uh, passados, uh, tenho a dizer que é com grande satisfação uh, que senti que todo o corpo docente uh, estava, estava contente uh, com a forma como decorreu a formação e que uh, viram uma mais-valia Uh, em termos do, do, dos conteúdos uh, disciplinares que foram abordados e também na perspectiva da internacionalização crescente a que se está a assistir uh, em termos de, de, do ensino e da educação uh, em Portugal e também em todos os países da, da, da União Europeia. Uh, quanto, uh, quanto à Universidade de Cambridge, uh, e, e, e a esta formação em concreto, uh, tenho a referir que uh, foi, foi com um grande contentamento uh, que uh, fomos escolhidos como a escola de acolhimento, onde foi realizada pela primeira vez em termos europeus uh, uma formação deste género uh, em termos do, do, do ensino primário porque este Programa Internacional da Universidade de Cambridge uh, já uh, tem uh, alguns anos de, 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 de duração, mas em termos do ensino primário uh, é relativamente recente. E, portanto, acho que uh, o facto de termos sido escolhidos como escola de acolhimento para uma iniciativa deste tipo, uh, em termos europeus, acho que também... Uh, foi bom da perspectiva uh, de aquilo que, que nós poderemos vir a desenvolver em termos futuros e também pelo facto uh, de ser um projeto piloto. Acho que o entusiasmo foi grande, quer da parte deles, dos formadores, quer da parte também de outros professores. Vieram duas professoras de uma escola internacional turca e vieram duas professoras de uma escola internacional uh, da cidade do Porto, assim como uh, também esteve presente uma professora uh, da, um, da Universidade Nova de Lisboa, e, portanto, acho que um, foi muito importante também termos tido a oportunidade de uh, contactar com pessoas de outras instituições de ensino, uh, quer em termos de ensino superior, quer também em termos de estabelecimentos uh, de ensino que têm todos os níveis de escolaridade uma vez que uh, o Programa Internacional da Universidade de Cambridge tem demonstrado muito bons resultados em termos do ensino secundário de, e da entrada, portanto, dos alunos em universidades estrangeiras, principalmente uh, universidades em que a língua materna uh, é o inglês. Well, uh, joining the Cambridge program has a, a double advantage, I think, for uh, Queen Elizabeth School. In the first place, it gives yet another boost to the international reputation that the school already abundantly has at the moment. It creates opportunities for Queen Elizabeth School to work together with other schools that are on the uh, same program, on the Cambridge program and even with uh, renowned institutions like uh, Cambridge University. So that's uh, one thing. The second thing is that uh, it also uh, presents an internal benefit because uh, by uh, having uh, the Cambridge program for maths, for science and for languages, it creates a synergy between those subjects and it makes it easier to 
have a consistent and coherent cross-curricular approach to uh, the various subjects, thus allowing uh, a better uh, cooperation among teachers and a consistent offer of learning activities for the pupils. So, in a way, it's really killing two birds with one stone. Um, over the past couple of days, the teachers from Queen Elizabeth School have had the opportunity to listen to trainers from the Cambridge Institute who've delivered workshops in English, Maths and Science. It's given them the opportunity to have the overview of the curriculum and the very broad-based learning opportunities that children will have who are um, receiving the curriculum. It's also given them, them the opportunity to look at a range of different teaching styles and ways in which they can make the subjects as engaging as possible for the pupils. Pupils will be assessed internally and their progress will be measured individually which will ensure that every child will have an opportunity to learn to the best of their ability. The Cambridge plan is linked very closely to the curriculum in the UK. Um, the UK national curriculum is changing and embracing the Cambridge curriculum will allow the school to really develop and keep in line and fact to the forefront of curriculum development. The pupils of Queen Elizabeth School will be learning the subjects in English and they will be developing not just their knowledge but skills which will be transferable from one subject to another. I think that it will have a huge impact and build upon the current good practice in the school. Well, I thought this programme was very interesting in that it gave us a lot of insight as to what the primary uh, bilingual programme is all about. In terms of English, it showed us how much further we can go um, once we have done all the planning and once we have um, worked towards what we were, was, were exposed to in the workshop. Um, there were lots of new ideas as to how to bring the language into the class, how to work it, how to extend it beyond just the language in itself. Um, I really think it could be a rewarding um, experiment for the school and have um, a positive outcome in the long run. Uh, if I should add anything else, I also believe that uh, besides um, all the input we were given, there is a, still a lot more work to be done as in researching, building up resources and actually understanding the, in, the teaching environment we are in, living in and how we're going to incorporate all that in our teaching environment to enrich it and therefore come out with a, a positive um, outcome. I took part in the professional development for teaching science in, the, in, in English. Um, what I found most informative was that it could be adapted to different ages, different groups, different, different levels of English. There were some projects that could be um, developed over a week or more and other experiments that could be um, carried out at the moment. They could be developed depending on the age of the children in question. We had a practical session in the morning and the second day in the morning whereby we could experiment with the experiments which was, was great fun, we all had a very good time and it was good to know what a child, what we would expect a child to do. Um, then we had the, the theoretical side obviously, we could see the stages, different stages and what was involved within those stages. All in all it was very very good, very informative and I enjoyed it very much. Cambridge course has brought a new dynamic to the school uh, and has given me uh, a lot more things to think about for the new classes, for the new first classes. So I'm very excited to start working and to take what we've learned actually into the classroom. I really enjoyed 
enjoyed the training course uh, given by Cambridge because it's been very insightful and I've, t I've got so many new ideas now to put in practice. Actually, I started today with something that I saw in a film, in a short video. There was a teacher encouraging students to give themselves a tap on their shoulders when they did something right. And I think it's very good to encourage children and to, to boost their self-esteem. And that's what I did right now in my afternoon lesson. I hope this will be the first of many things to put into practice and that will help me to become a better professional. I really enjoyed the course that we just took yesterday and the day before uh, on the Cambridge primary um, uh, curriculum. Uh, I think it was very um, interesting to know that what we do here at school uh, in concerning to the reading and writing goes somewhat encounter somewhat to what they are planning on doing as well. But I think it was a very productive course. I think that I'm going to, to try and put it in practice in September. And it's a different approach. While we teach children as a second language, uh, this uh, Cambridge curriculum framework um, teaches children to be native speakers. And in fact, I think it was um, a very practical course. It gave us a lot of ideas of how we can put it in practice in September. So what I really enjoyed about the science program um, was the fact that it was a very hands-on approach and that we were actually being shown how to carry out the experiments in class with the children, which I think is really, really important. But more than that, it was the fact that they were teaching us procedure and helping us reflect about how we can, in turn, help our children reflect about science and what science is about and how to carry out an experiment and to hypothesize about uh, what's going to happen next and getting them to record like they would if they were in a real science lab and I found that really really interesting. Um, I also like the fact that um, there was a lot of input so apart from the practical side there was also a lot of input and a lot of <coughs> going over and looking at tests and um, and even thinking about whether the test questions were appropriate or not appropriate and how we could actually adapt that to our own reality and I think it's going to be really really good for our children in the future uh, to be able to be taught in this way and through this program. Fiz uma formação de dois dias aqui no colégio com professores do Cambridge e tivemos a oportunidade de refletir sobre o, o programa eh, proposto por eles e sobre como é que podemos aplicar eh, essas ideias e eh, esses conteúdos aqui no, no Queen. Eh, fizemos também muitas experiências muito divertidas e que espero poder em breve fazer com os meus alunos. A formação foi bastante útil, o programa de Cambridge é muito interessante e eu acho que os nossos alunos só vão ter a ganhar com estas novas aprendizagens. Foi muito importante para nós perceber que o programa de Cambridge e os novos programas de matemática são bastante semelhantes, que não vai ser difícil pôr em prática porque nós podemos ganhar com o que vamos fazer em inglês e ganhar com o que já fazemos a matemática neste momento. Uh, por isso, acho que todos vão gostar muito de, desta nova realidade na nossa escola. Música